Hey everybody, so this is going to be a video on how to better regulate blood sugars. This is going to be something, um, basically I did a video before when I was reviewing for a, I think it was like kinesiology or nutritional type test for a um, class I had in school. Um, and I did it really, um, the way I went over things, it was rather quick and um, this is going to be like more uh, straightforward explanation um, so basically with blood sugars like uh, people need to regulate them and for some people it's like uh, it's very automatic but for some people say if you're uh, diabetic pre-diabetic um, and also hyper or hypoglycemic um, you would have to watch uh, your blood sugars and try and make sure that they're regulated otherwise there's like symptoms you'll have um, such as like feeling faint, dizzy, getting shaky obviously these could be symptoms or signs of other things um, and there's also other signs of it um, but uh, yeah so I'm not a nutritionist I um, I've only had maybe a few classes uh, for extra, um, you know, out of curiosity about, you know, health and stuff, but not all directly pertaining to this. This is just some stuff I've read about and thought I'd share. Um, so basically, one of the things that helps uh, uh, regulate blood sugars is exercise. Uh, simple as like say walking for 30 minutes or walking as much as you can um, um, the type of exercise that um, like increases blood flow and oxygen so when you, it makes you have to like breathe more such as like walking upstairs and uh, you know uh, like Cardio would really help. If you can do cardio, that's really good. Um, putting on more muscle, that helps. It basically gives your um, body and like more of a place that it can put uh, the glycogen, which is uh, basically what carbs or sugar um, end up being uh, with, uh, with the foods that you eat. Uh, if you basically you're gonna want to eat more um, you want to balance protein and carbs and uh, the type of carbs you want to eat more complex carbs as opposed to uh, simple carbohydrates um, you want to eat less processed foods you, or like you want to cut that out of your diet more or like get it out. Uh, you want to avoid alcohol. Um, let's see, uh, eating, having cinnamon in your foods, that helps. Um, having peppers, this helps too. The things that help your metabolism, uh, they help regulate blood sugars. So uh, essentially if you want to look up um, low glycemic foods, those are the type of foods you want to eat, um, but you want to be careful. You want to, um, you know, have a balance of like maybe some of the other foods that are maybe not low glycemic, but um, yeah, uh, let's see what else. So basically some, some foods I know that are good would be like uh, I'm not looking at a list, but I think it's like celery is good, and um, as a vegetable, and um, another thing you need to be careful about is fruit. Some of the fruits, they have so much sugar. If you're drinking juice, um, that's like a lot of sugar, and if you have to watch your blood sugars, having a lot of sugar like that is, you know, even though... Um, like, you know, you're getting fruit and all that. I, I remember I was reading in the uh, nutrition, uh, sports nutrition book, it was saying how if you had 
if you were eating mostly just vegetables as opposed to fruits, you could get enough vitamins and minerals. However, if you were to switch that and you were only having um, mostly like fruits as opposed to vegetables, you wouldn't be getting enough. Um, so, I mean, it's still good to eat fruits and all that, but uh, people that have to be careful about their blood sugars have to take in these other considerations because it means that the body is reacting to the sugars a little bit differently. So, um, you know, it's uh, something to be careful about. So, yeah, the exercise, uh, having much more low glycemic foods, avoid the alcohol, um, or at least like not have it much. Just like with sugars, you know, you want to, um, you know, when you have things, uh, my suggestion, it depends on what you can handle. Really, it does. Um, usually, every individual, you'll know what works for you. If you have, like, symptoms with something, um, you know, be careful about that. Or, like, you know, stay away from it. If it's, like, something bad, realize that your body, it reacts to it in a negative way. So, um, you know, take note to the things that are uh, positive. And, um, you know, another thing is that stress will affect your, um, how your body reacts and your blood sugars, it will make you more sensitive, like your blood sugar is more sensitive. Um, so, and then I also have a video on how to deal with stress more effectively and, um, you can check that out. And what else? So stress, your sleep. When you sleep, you want to make sure if you can handle, like, try and get enough sleep. Um, you know, aim for, say, eight hours or, you know, nine hours, whatever your body needs. And, you know, get naps because um, this will affect your blood sugars. It's important. And try and think positive. And, um, yeah, so those are my tips. Uh, hopefully this helps people and um, if it helps you, you know, click like or, you know, make a comment and, or if you have any other tips you'd like to add to it, you know, put that in the comments and yeah, so have a great day.